Hey guys. guys! We are finally back after getting married! We're here in a friend's house, house sitting, and we totally forgot the special thing that we need for the tripod, so today we're doing vlog style. That's right. So guys, I want to welcome everyone to the channel. We've had so many new subscribers over the holiday period. We just want to say, hey, how's it going? Wait, no, you say it in your Aussie accent. I want to say, hey, how's it going, man? And I'll say it in my New York accent. How you doing? How you doing? Hey! Welcome to the channel. All the recipes here are super friendly for you guys to use, super easy. So today we're making a delicious saute sauce with chicken, but if you're vegetarian or vegan, you can use tofu. And the reason why we're making a saute sauce from scratch is because all the saute sauces in the grocery store have sugar in them. That's right, so today's recipe is saute, but it's not authentic. If you want an authentic uh, <laughs> saute recipe, this is not the video. Today is a quick and easy saute that you can all make. That you can meal prep. That you can meal Meal prep doesn't have like 20 ingredients. No. So let's, let's get started. started. So we're gonna start with our brown rice. We're we'll start with three quarters of a cup. Add one and a half cups of water. Give it a stir. Make sure all those grains have sunk to the bottom. And now wait for it to boil. I'm gonna show you how to cut and make the tofu, and Adam's gonna show you how to cut and make the chicken. So for the tofu, we're gonna take our chunk of tofu here, and you're just going to slice it down the middle. Tilt it back, and we're gonna cut it into 16 pieces. So then you have all these cute little cubes of tofu. So for the chicken guys, we have 500 grams of raw chicken breast, which will be 125 grams of chicken per meal. What is on your finger? Oh, it's a shiny ring. Woo, look at that thing. I got it from the, the fires of Mordor. <laughs> it literally looks like the Harry Potter, the uh, <laughs> Lord Lord of the the ring. Ring. <laughs> this is actually the first recipe we're doing Mario. Woo! It's going pretty good so far. No fights yet. No fights yet. <laughs> so, cut your chicken. We're gonna slice it in half. Nice big long strokes. We're going to cut it on a bit of an angle. Cut through like so. Little, nice little chunks. Really simple. Same the other one. Now that it's come to a boil, turn it to low, give it a stir, make sure it's not sticking on the bottom, and then we're gonna cover it with it. We're gonna show you a split screen of cooking the tofu and the chicken. For both, add a quarter of a cup of coconut oil. Let the oil heat up before you put in the chicken or tofu. While the chicken or tofu is cooking, it's time to prepare the vegetables. So for today's green vegetable, we're gonna use bok choy. Asian style vegetable, you can find it in your grocer, or if you can't find it in your grocer, maybe you go to the Asian market, but you should be able to find it. Basically, white or sometimes green stalks with a big leaf on top, because washing is very important, because they can get little bugs inside there. So let's cut the end off, like so. And turn the other one. Now it's gonna give it a wash. Bugs, see bugs. Ew. They're in there. They hide in the bottom in there. Ew. Make sure you wash yours. <laughs> yep. We're gonna use a handy steamer, like this. If you don't want one of these, you can just use a steamer or anything that you can use that can steam. <laughs> and we're gonna add the rock choy that we just washed into the steamer. To make them fit. Just give them a little bit of a helping to curve around the edges. Get in there, Mr. Mr. Bok Choy. <laughs> Maybe I have to go one at a time. <laughs> hey, there we go. Hey, it's fitting now. It's like Tetris. Mid back on, and that should be done when the rice is up. You're gonna take the Bok Choy off the heat, and you run it under some cold water. Make sure you cook it for about five minutes. You can see this is quite green and still looks kind of fresh. Whereas this one over here, I was cooked for a little bit too long, looks kind of sad and brown. <laughs> it's still gonna taste fine. So don't throw it away if it looks like this. Yeah, but just, just so you know, this is what happens. This is why you run on the cold water as quickly as possible to preserve the greenness. And look, the rice is ready. So it's gonna use half an onion. You wanna keep this bit on. Take this bit off. Fingers tucked back. Now you're gonna slice down. Not all the way through the back, but all the way through to the bottom. A couple of mils. 
When we get to this bit, just squeeze and do the same thing. Put it down, squeeze, cut, squeeze, cut. Beautiful. Then just pull this way, big long strokes, cut down. Look at that. Nice. Easy. Simple. Quick. Thumbs up for knife tricks. Get to the end, just turn it over. Shoo. There you go. Tricks with Adam. No food wastage. Onto the garlic. Flat side of the knife down. Palm. Press. Oh yeah, feel the crack. And you can easily now peel off. Check that away. And we get rid of these little bits on the bottom. Line them up. And then just go. Get it up it. And then just do a nice slice. Make sure those fingers are tucked back. A little bit of rough dice. Of course, you could always use a, a garlic press. Okay, garlic's done. Now with ginger, you only want to use a little bit. So we're going to use about that much. Take the edges off. Just use the knife. Now it's going to do a thin slice. Get it as fine as we can, so there's no stringy bits. Pile them up, top of each other, and go nice long strokes. Well good, there you go. And optional, chilli. So if you, if you like it hot, add a chilli. I love it with a chilli. Totally optional though. We're gonna cut out triangles, which I will do, or diamonds. So just make it. Seeds can go in or out. I like the seeds in, I like it hot. Totally optional for you. Ready to go. Make sure you turn the heat back on, the oil is nice and hot, and now we're gonna add in all the good stuff. Next we're gonna add some coconut aminos. Coconut aminos are a great substitute for soy sauce as it has 17 of the amino acids in it, which is awesome. You can find it in your local health food store, or if you can't find it at all, it's okay to use soy. Now you can see a bit of color, and now I'm gonna start in the fry. We're gonna add two tablespoons of the coconut aminos. Now to stir. Now we're gonna add in a quarter cup of peanut butter. Make sure it's just peanut butter that just has peanuts. No added stuff in it. Preservatives and yuckiness. And sugar. And sugar. Definitely no sugar. Give it a stir. Oh yeah. One can of coconut milk. Here we go. Give it a stir. Mix it all together. Make sure you give it a good stir. It's going to take a little bit to mix the peanut butter into the coconut milk. As it starts to boil, it's going to get really thick. Like so. When it starts to boil, turn the heat off. If you're allergic to peanuts, feel free to use any other nut that you're allowed to eat. Of course, if you're allergic to all nuts, then don't do this. So once the sauce is done, this is when you can add back in your chicken or your tofu. We're gonna chuck in chicken for this one. Here we go. Chicken. Chicken. And just stir it in. <laughs> you don't need to heat it back up again. The chicken's already cooked, just stir it through. But you need to add some salt and pepper. Time to put it up. Add three to four pieces of bok choy to each container. Next, a half a cup of rice. And then divide the chicken evenly. If you'd like to take a fancy Instagram picture, make sure to add a garnish of some spring onions. Easy as that, guys. For those of you who are new to our channel, you can check the description box below for the ingredients, macros, and storage and reheating directions. We make this so easy for you guys. That's right. Make sure to send us your pictures over on Instagram. Make sure to hashtag Big Couple Cooks and tag us at Big Couple Cooks. And you can follow us on Snapchat. We have over 25 meal prep videos, so make sure to go backwards, scroll back in the videos, and check those out. That's right. See you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Namaste.